Well, Michael, hey, I, I want to thank you for calling in on the show. I mean, you know, uh, Steve has like been my idol for years. I mean, you know, he's open. He's trying to get, you know, disclosure. And he feels like, well, with, within less than a year, we might uh, have the government actually admitting a lot. So we'll see what happens. Yes. You know, that was just uh, an amazing program there, Gary, with uh, with quite a historic figure, by the way, because uh, Stephen Bassett was the very first uh, lobbyist uh, actually registered on the uh, extraterrestrial issue. So this is fantastic that potentially uh, his dreams and or uh, predictions for the future might be coming true uh, very shortly. Oh, yeah, and you can certainly tell by, you know, he is really sincere in what he does. Even, you know, being sincere about our population and how, you know, things are going. So, I mean, you know, he, you know, you can tell that uh, he's, well, what he says is what he feels. Oh, yeah, he is quite uh, committed to this this thing. Like you said, 23 years he's been involved behind the scenes in, in the political uh, system, uh, moving this whole disclosure process forward. And uh, I, would, I would not be surprised that uh, this whole idea of potential disclosure from Hillary Clinton, if she was going to be elected, um, had not been uh, put together by the impetus that Steve has been put in, putting in in the, in the background behind the scenes for many, many years, because um, it takes folks like him on the inside to really, uh, you know, egg the, the system on to uh, towards change and openness, and that's what he's been doing. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I think there's enough people out there that want answers. I mean, certainly, you know, from your group of your, you know, uh, UFO team, and, you know, for me, from doing the show, I mean, people want the truth. They don't want to be any more covered up. They don't want to be lied to anymore. That we're not stupid, okay? I mean, it's too many strange things going on, government-wise, and what's in the sky. And hey, you know, it's just like if you saw a guy rob a Seven Eleven, right? And he's running out, and he shoots the, you know, the clerk and all that stuff. And then everybody says, "Well, what? I didn't see anything." I mean, that's how people are not naive anymore. You know, back 20 years ago, before the Internet, people were, I hate to say it, they were a lot more naive. Now people are so computer literate. They go on the computer. They read things. They're not dumb when it comes to, you know, what is going on, you know, like the past. So, I mean, that's all. That's just my view. So, hey, Michael, I enjoyed you calling in. And, boy, I really enjoyed the show. I also enjoyed how Steve got a little bit off of, well, what we were talking about. And it, it let it let you know that he is warm and he thinks, uh, you know, and he cares about, you know, all of us. Yes, he's definitely a very passionate person, which came out tonight in your interview with him. That was wonderful. Well, thank him, not me. Okay, sir. Well, you have a good evening. And are you still driving uh, home from the mountain? I uh, made it home, Gary, so that's why I rushed to the telephone to give you a call. Thank you very much for including me in the show tonight. Okay, no problem, my friend. Okay, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to play the bumper music and one little thing. And I'm history till uh, actually... uh, Tomorrow's 11th. I don't have a show tomorrow. I made a point because I got something planned. So I'm going to be back on Friday. So, hey, Michael, you take care. You too, Gary. Thank you. So, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the show uh, Show with Steve Bassett. I mean, I, I rather did. I mean, you know, uh, I let him do the majority of the talking because he had a lot of stuff to say. And, you know, I, I don't know. I, I hope he's right. I actually hope that the government will disclose about UFOs, you know, within the year or sooner. So maybe we'll find out. And as uh, the president creating a space force, you know, I think that probably was kind of a cover up because as even Steve Bassett said that there's been one for a long time. And I agree with that. So everybody, you have a good evening. We'll be back on. Uh, well, see. We'll be back on Thursday. So tomorrow's week. Yeah, I lost a day there in between. Old age.
Check out Night Dreams Talk Radio on the web at www.nightdreamstalkradio.com.